There's a growing trend in today's economy. I do now live to work. It's never worth the sacrifice to live to work. Americans are living to work. In fact, according to a national Cigna survey, nearly two thirds of Americans now say they live to work rather than work to live. Meet Carter Schmeck, owner of Mobile Rock and Extreme Interactives. Mobile Rock Incorporated is a portable rock climbing wall company. When we go to a location, we provide an interactive experience. That's the number one thing we do. But it's an entertainment. So we're taking um, usually items for kids and adults, um, setting up at special events and um, providing a good time for them. So Mechanical Bull kind of says it all. Set up a mechanical bull at a party or an event and people are going to have a good time. While Carter's company provides a good time for those who choose his services, his personal time with his wife, doing the things they love to do, has diminished due to a struggling economy. I do now live to work. There is no longer much me time. I work on an average and unfortunately I kept a time card on myself. I've, I work on an average of 70 hours a week. When the economy suffers, the working class and small business owners suffer the most. Uh, when I finally had to let our, my general manager go on the company, uh, the only option I had was to, um, to cover the office and that position was to have my wife come in. I had to put kind of my career goals on hold a little bit to try to help out the office. And Carter threw me into the fire. I had probably about two weeks of training and had to figure it out. <laughs> I had to figure out how to run a business. I wasn't able to handle everything. There's not enough hours in a day. Yeah, you could put any acronym behind my name and that's me at the company. <laughs> I'm the janitor. <laughs> I'm the CEO. Pressure from the economy has also taken a toll on Carter's health. Within a year, he's been sick six times and gained 25 pounds. But that doesn't stop Carter from doing what he loves most, bringing fun to communities. At the end of the day with the business, the greatest thing is that we're providing fun, happy, healthy memories for families and kids. It's the experience that we provide, and it's seeing that um, smiling face. Like Carter, many Americans are putting in longer hours, but for some, it's just too much to handle. Take Pat Bates, for instance. Pressure from the economy and increasing demands from management led him to quit his longtime job. When I worked at, at Bimbo um, in, my, in the bread business uh, for the last 30 years, it was always, you always felt like you were living to work. Numerous times I can remember just coming to work and saying, God, it feels like I just left here. You know, doesn't it feel like we were just here 10 minutes ago, we were just here leaving, you know, and now we're right back. Even though it would be less money, Pat took the opportunity to go to work for the state of California. He decided the extra time spent with family would be worth the cut in pay. Oh, I definitely feel fortunate to have my job. I'm, I'm more than happy. As the economy swings from one extreme to the other, there is always work to be done. What we choose to do and the effort we put into that work can take a toll on our personal lives. Each individual has to find that balance between their work life and their home life. It's never worth the sacrifice to live to work. In the end, they'll replace you in an instant like you were never there. We'll work now a lot is how I think of it and we'll live later a little bit. I guess that's how I have to convince myself.